This is the Famicom, the Japanese version of the NES, the original version. As you can see, the uh, cables for the controllers are very short and are also attached to the inside of the console. I'm just turning it uh, on and off a few times to make sure that it's completely discharged before doing anything on the inside. It's very easy to access the Famicom, it's just um, six Philip head screws on the back side. Easy to remove. And then uh, just pop it open. I bought a extension cord of the NES with a female part and a male part. And I'm just gonna cut it off and attach it to the Famicom. And then uh, stripping the cables, you know, basic stuff. So I'm going to attach the female part of the NES extension cord on the back side of the Famicom. And then attach the male part of the extension cord to the Famicom controllers. Let's cut off the controller. This is the schematic I'm using for connecting all the wires. Take note that the wires on controller 1 and controller 2 have uh, different colors on them. Then solder the wires together according to the schematic shown before. And then just adding the uh, shrinking tube, protecting the, the soldering and the cables so it doesn't short. As you can see from the schematic, there are two cables, the green one and the blue one from the NES extension cord that doesn't get used on controller one. And then also adding a large shrinking tube over everything and shrink it. And then uh, repeating the same steps, but this time for the main board of the Famicom instead of the controller. Um, and soldering the female part of the NES extension cord to the Famicom. And just push it down the slot where the Famicom controller cable was before. Repeat for controller 2. It's the same thing but uh, controller 2 also have the mic cable that controller 1 doesn't and remember the different colors on the cables and then uh, put it together again. And 
And now as you can see the female connectors are on the back side looking neat. I'm connecting the uh, NES controller to the input to the Famicom and I'm gonna see if that works. And as you can see it works just fine. I also tried the uh, Famicom controllers and they also work. Um, that includes the controller too. Don't judge my Mario skills, please. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, it can help you out. Please leave a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. See you next time.